Question 1. The human eye can focus on objects at different distances by adjusting the focal length of the eye lens. This is due to A. Presbyophia B. Accommodation C. Nearsightedness D. Farsightedness Answer B. Accommodation Explanation Accommodation is the ability of the eye lens to adjust its focal length so that it can focus on objects at various distances. This is done by the action of ciliary muscles. Question 2. The human eye forms the image of an object at its A. Cornea B. Iris C. Pupil D. Retina Answer D. Retina Explanation The image formed by the eye lens is real and inverted and it forms on the retina, which is light sensitive screen at the back of the eye. Question 3. The least distance of distant vision for a young adult with normal vision is about A. 25 meter B. 2.5 centimeter C. 25 centimeter D. 2.5 meter Answer C. 25 centimeter Explanation The least distance at which the eye can see objects clearly without strain is 25 centimeter Called the least distance of distant vision Question 4 The change in focal length of an eye lens is caused by the action of the A. Pupil B. Retina C. Ciliary muscles D. Iris Answer C. Ciliary muscles Explanation Ciliary muscles after the curvature of the eye lens changing its focal length and helping the eye to focus on near or distant object. Question 5 A person needs a lens of power minus 5.5 diopters for correcting his distant vision. For correcting his near vision, he needs a lens of power plus 1.5 diopter. What is the focal length of the lens required for correcting distant vision and near vision? Answer For distant vision, power equals minus 5.5 diopter. Focal length f equals 100 by p which is equal to 100 divided by minus 5.5 equals to minus 18.18 cm. For near vision, power equals plus 1.5 diopter. Focal length is equal to 100 divided by p which is equal to 100 divided by 1.5 equals to plus 66.67 cm. Question 6. The far point of a myopic person is 80 cm in front of the eye. What is the nature and power of the lens required to correct the problem? Answer Far point equals 80 cm, which is equal to 0.8 meter. For correction, the image of the distant object at infinity should form at the far point. Using lens formula, 1 by f is equal to 1 by v minus 1 by u. v equals minus 0.8 meter, u equals infinity. 1 by f equals 1 by minus 0.8 minus 0 equals minus 1.25. Power equals 100 divided by f, which is equal to 100 divided by minus 80 equals to minus 1.25 d. So, a concave lens of power minus 1.25 diopter is needed. Question 7. Make a diagram to show how hypermetrophia is corrected. The near point of a hypermetrophic eye is 1 meter. What is the power of the lens required to correct this defect? Assume that the near point of the normal eye is 25 centimeter. Answer to correct hypermetrophia a concave lens is used. Let object distance u equals minus 25 cm, which is equal to minus 0.25 meter. Image distance v equals minus 1 meter. Using lens formula, 1 by f equals 1 by v minus 1 by u, which is equal to minus 1 minus of minus 4 equals 3. f equals 1 by 3, which is equal to 0.33 meter. Also, 33.3 cm. Power equals 100 divided by f which is equal to 100 divided by 33.3, approximately 3 diopter. Question 8. Why is a normal eye not able to see clearly the objects placed closer than 25 cm? Answer. The ciliary muscles of the eye cannot contract beyond a limit. If the object is placed closer than 25 cm, the eye lens cannot increase its curvature, decrease focal length sufficiently. So, the image does not form on the retina, causing a blurred vision. Question 9. What happens to the image distance in the eye when we increase the distance of an object from the eye? Answer: The image distance remains almost constant as the distance between the eye lens and retina does not change. Instead, the focal length of the lens is adjusted by ciliary muscles to keep the image focused on the retina. Question 10. Why do stars twinkle? Answer: Stars appear to twinkle because their light passes through multiple layers of Earth's atmosphere. These layers have different temperatures and densities, causing refraction. This makes the light from the star bend irregularly 
so its position and brightness appear to change rapidly. Question 11. Explain why the planets do not twinkle. Answer. Planets appear larger because they are closer to Earth. The light coming from them is a collection of light rays from different points. The refraction effects average out, so any changes are minimized and planets do not appear to twinkle. Question 12. Why does the sky appear dark instead of blue to an astronaut? Answer. In space, there is no atmosphere to scatter sunlight. Since scattering, which makes the sky look blue, does not happen. The sky appears black to an astronaut. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and don't forget to subscribe our GetSkillUp channel for more educational info.